This summer... Come on, you beast! A dragon is coming. No, a smaller dragon. But fast. And cute. But not that cute. A multitasking dragon that doesn't waste power. And he's not coming to a theater. No, he's coming to your phone. Well, technically, in your phone. Make sure your next phone has blockbuster speed and battery life you love. Make sure it has a Snapdragon processor. Hi guys, this is Varun here from Phone Arena. And here we have a really crazy phone to unbox today. This I'm going to be, uh, I've really been looking forward to unboxing this crazy big phone. This, this is the Samsung Galaxy Mega 6.3. Uh, as you can see, this is a really big uh, phone. So we'll show the phone once you open the box. So this is the retail package for India, the Samsung Galaxy Mega. It says, stay smart, live large. And this is the retail package itself. The same false wood finish box printed with saw ink and goes by the model number I9200. Uh, so this is the 16 GB version. I'm sure it will have like a lot lesser in terms of user accessible memory because of the uh, Samsung touch with software. So uh, this is the specs on the outside, uh, 6.3 inch super clear LCD. That's the main highlight here. And it's powered by a dual core Snapdragon 400 processor. And it's running at 1.7 gigahertz. And it has 16 GB of uh, inbuilt memory and also a micro SD expansion slot. It's powered by a massive 3200 mAh battery. Um, and I don't know how good the battery life would be on this since it's powered only by a dual core processor and you have a 3200 mAh battery but still it's a 6.3 inch screen I'm going to be expecting good battery life on this device um, what else is uh, interesting here so the screen here is a HD screen not a full HD probably you'll see it in the Note 3 uh, it's uh, 1280 by 720 pixels now unlike the Galaxy Mega 5.8 which uh, has a very uh, low resolution screen so this uh, supports 3G networks up to 21 Mbps and uh, that's about it so it also has a camera on the back i'll show it to you one uh, the moment we get into, into the box so let's uh, let use the talking and open the box and show you the phone itself so let's see how the samsung mini tv looks like or the galaxy mega so wow man the box is barely holding the phone it's like packed edge to edge with this massive phone inside 6.3 inches wow on a phone so yeah Surprisingly feels a lot light even though the battery is not inside and man the screen is really huge So this is the uh, Galaxy Mega 6.3 on the front and this is the back. So let's get rid of all this uh, plastic stuff This is the uh, black version. So this is the screen in the front So let's uh, check out the box contents and put in the battery and power it on later. So let's uh, check out the box contents now So here you have a quick start guide basic stuff normal common stuff and you get a wall charger the standard european one for india with a this is a two ampere charger considering it has a 3020 mAh battery you also get the uh, micro usb cable standard micro usb and then you have a pair of earphones the normal uh, headphones earphones with a pair of uh, earbuds like set of earbuds, three uh, pairs, and wow, the battery is so huge. That's the battery there. Looks like a phone itself. You put this like something like to a S3 Mini. The battery is bigger than the phone itself, width wise. So this is crazy. And let's <laughs> probably bring in the iPhone 5 here. Looks almost three fourth uh, the size of an iPhone here. The battery itself. So that's something in terms of the size for the Galaxy Mega. So let's open up the battery and uh, pop it into the phone so let's open up the back cover so let's see so this is the back cover here <laughs> so this is the uh, housing for the battery so as you can see uh, it has a micro sd uh, card slot and a sim card slot and micro sim on top of each other i expected it to be in different locations but it's all we showed it to you during the hands-on we had at the india launch event so highlighting it again so that's the uh, slot for both the uh, sim card and the micro sd card slot and 8 mp camera on the back interestingly there's no stylus on this device considering the device like a note 2 has a stylus so let's uh, power on the phone so it's powering up 
two mega phones were launched by samsung galaxy mega 5.8 and the 6.3 so this is 6.3 so let's get through this um, menu here so i don't think we'll have to be setting it up we'll probably set it up later so so that's the setup screen you get 50 gb of dropbox space uh, i don't know how much gb i have with internet connections in india i don't know how much we can actually upload the upload speeds are pretty bad here so wow so it's actually not bad the screen uh, it's actually i think we have a plastic sticker on top so let's get rid of that really nice uh, looking screen uh, doesn't feel as massive when you start using the android ui it's also because the resolution is not like a full hd like say 1920 by 1080 like something on these newer phones uh, this is priced at about 30,000 in India. So it's running on Android 4.2.2 and has some of the features from the Galaxy S4. And as you can see, it's running on Android 4.2.2. So looks really nice and big and huge. And I don't know how it's going to be uh, showing in terms of the uh, actual use case. So let's quickly give you a tour of the hardware first. So this is the 6.3 inch display, 720p screen. Uh, not really bad, uh, pretty uh, decent I would say and uh, so this is the front of the screen, the speaker grill, the 1.9 megapixel front facing camera, the sensors and the home uh, button back key and menu key, standard Samsung stuff and on the back you have the 8 megapixel camera along with an LED flash, uh, the Samsung branding, the uh, speaker, speaker grill, so that's something on the side. So on the right side uh, you have the uh, volume uh, sorry you don't have the volume rocker here you have only the power button here and the volume rocker is actually on the uh, left side uh, here so that's much, pretty much on the left we have the same uh, false metal uh, finish and on the bottom you have the microphone hole and the micro usb charging uh, and syncing port interestingly on the top you also have the ir led uh, which you we saw on the uh, s4 galaxy s4 it has the uh, 3 mm audio jack here, another microphone hole and interestingly this is one of the Samsung devices to be powered by a Qualcomm processor. So we have the Qualcomm branding here. So that's the uh, overview of the hardware. So as you can see it's pretty thin uh, in terms of the profile and it's about 199 grams in terms of weight, about 200 grams in weight and doesn't really feel that heavy for a phone of this size. For example if you say the Note 2 is actually a, feels a lot heavier uh, in terms of the weight and wow the Note 2 look at it how small is it next to the Galaxy Mega 6.3 uh, I'm not sure if that's uh, powered on let's try charging it or uh, booting it up but I'm, I'm not sure if it uh, has any juice left so just uh, to give you a size uh, idea of the size the Mega is monstrous next to the Note 2 and most of us were kind of complaining about the Note 2 being huge and now you can see it for yourself. It's so huge, uh, the Galaxy Mega 6.3 and as you can see there's a stylus here which is missing in the uh, Galaxy Mega 6.3 so that's one and something else as well. So let's uh, compare the Galaxy Mega to something also from Samsung. This is the Galaxy S3 mini which launched last year and boy looks it looks so small. It looks like uh, probably uh, covers probably like only half of the phone in terms of volume and see how the users have kind of moved on to bigger screen phones. Three years or two years down the lane, a phone like the Galaxy S3 mini was the ideal phone screen size at four inches, but now even 6.3 is uh, kind of okay. And that's how Samsung is kind of bringing a product into the market. So this is the Galaxy S3 mini and also let's compare it to the iPhone 5 and look how tiny the uh, iPhone looks next to the Galaxy Mega 6.3. So that was a quick unboxing of the uh, Samsung Galaxy Mega 6.3. Stay tuned to Phone Arena and our YouTube channel for more uh, videos about the Galaxy Mega 6.3 including in-depth comparisons, benchmarks and whatnot. So, uh, I'm sure you're going to be interested in finding out about the uh, Galaxy Mega 6.3. Uh, do check out our uh, channel for and subscribe, hit subscribe if you want to be informed of the uh, latest videos on our channel. Thanks for watching.